yeah, this is uh this is a little creepy. Not gonna lie. Little creepy. But whatever, you know. Whoever was doing it, they're not doing it anymore. Unless zombies, you know, do like satanic rituals or something, I don't know. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. Zombies are all set to nightmare speed. Uh, our map is almost entirely made up of wasteland generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. Uh, we do, however, have one small green biome with a town and a trader and a mega city. And we're trying to find both of those, but we have not found them yet. And we are on episode, what, 38, I think, something like that. So, yeah, um, we're just hanging out in our town the place that we're based in the prison here um until horde night which will be tomorrow night and so i'm just kind of going around and looting uh, the poi so we we did this one in the last episode and now we're going to go hit that barn looking one over there next and depending upon how our time goes it is starting to get it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon uh we might go hit the uh, the coliseum up above too because there's some pretty good loot up in the top of there so let's go ahead and get started. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. I'm sure having a lot of fun with this Wasteland Survival Series. It's uh, it's quite the challenge playing on an all Wasteland map. Um, but it ha you know, it it, it has uh, it has some advantages too. I mean, I've, I've mentioned this before, but that you know, there's a lot of good resources in the Wasteland for one thing. And um, I, I thought that meat was going to be a problem when I started, but there are so many rattlesnakes around that you can harvest for meat that, you know, meat hasn't been a problem either. So it's all worked out pretty good. All right. So I have, I don't remember ever being in this POI either. There's a lot of, of vanilla POIs that I still haven't been in, which is really cool because it means there's a lot more to discover. So let's go ahead and check this place out. There's an opening up there. When I do um, one of these POIs for the first time, I like to kind of go through the normal pathway that the Fun Pimps set up. Just to kind of get the full experience, you know. But I'm not sure where that pathway is. We need to look for a light. Like usually they set the little lanterns down, which indicates the path you're supposed to take. So let's go take a look, see over here. Okay, yeah. There's a light there, a torch in that case. So it looks like we go through the garage. Okay, let's go bring the mini bike over here then. Have I already looked at that? Yeah. I figured I had. But I wasn't sure. We we uh, leveled in the last episode too, so I put that point into uh, strength level 3. So now we can take the next level in shotguns, um, in... Uh, uh, sledgehammers and the two mining skills and sexy tea, which is what I have in mind for doing. I think I've been in the garage part here, looted this place, so. What? What in the hell's going on here? How come I can't go up? There we go. That was weird. <laughs> okay, I guess we won't be going back down that way, huh? So we'll get up here, and looks like we go through into this room. All right. What kind of surprises are waiting for us in here? Looks like it wants us to go downstairs. All right. Well, I guess we're downstairs. Trying to make sure I get headshots here so we're not unduly wasting our ammo. Let's go back up here for a second. Uh, I want to check behind here. Really? I want to check behind here and I also want to uh, loot that. Loot this. Okay, there's nothing behind there. All right. Let's go cool and quiet here. Cool and quiet. 
I will get that radiator in a second. I just want to peek my head around the corner and make sure there's not a sleeper like right here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's, uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for, I guess we'll take that. Oh, that got somebody's attention too. Little girl. Bet that gave her a headache. All right. I um, think that's the door out into the gay garage. Do the usual cupboard looting here. Okay. What's going to happen next? Probably somebody around the corner there. Get anybody's attention? Doesn't look like it. Okay, guess that's it for the ground floor here. Grab the leather. I don't think I'm going to keep the plastic because uh, I got like over 300 back at the base from all the cars I've been scrapping. We don't need that much plastic. Oh, okay. It wants us to go that way. I was going to say, man, that thing's locked up tight. What do we got up here? Ammo pile. Nice. 25 7.62s. It's beautiful. Can never have too many 7.62s. Never, never, never. Let's put you down there. Sorry about that. Here's my wife texting me. All right. We'll take that and that and that. When Mrs. Old Guy sends a text, yeah, you got to respond. <laughs> yeah, my wife's awesome. She is an amazing woman. Okay. Let's go through here. Partly because she lets me make these videos. But for lots of other reasons, too. Oh, shit. Feral. 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 Another feral. Is this the house of ferals or what? Okay, here you go. Boom. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> that didn't work so well, did it? Okay. We good? We cool? Oh, that's nice stuff. 
That's nice stuff. All right, we got a little choke point here that we can use if we need it. Okay, I'll grab that in a second. I just want to kind of look around the corner here. Yeah, let's close that. Okay, I'd like to harvest um, these cobbles here. There we go. We're good. Let's take this. That'll free us up one slot. All right, here we go. Definitely want the oil. This is not any good to us in the wasteland, or not better than what we currently have, I should say. All right, so it looks like we're going to have to bust the, um, the bookshelf. Let's just put those there to buy us a second or two if we need it. Get some more cobble. Looks like that's where we're going next. Uh, a cowboy hat. Well, we have a cowboy hat mod, which uh, as soon as I find a helmet that's got more than one slot, we'll re-equip. So we don't need a real cowboy hat. What in the hell's going on up here? That looks... Uh, Pretty nasty. <laughs> What's going to happen as soon as we come up here? Something's going to happen. I just, I can just feel it. We got the AK ready. I knew it. I knew it. Is it just you? Well, shoot, man. How did we miss that? I was expecting like <laughs> you know like five like four or five ferals to come after us, but uh, it was just Joe the zombie. Uh, all right, cool. Let's just pop up here really quick. See if there's any fat loots. Nope, not seeing anything. Yeah, this is uh this is a little creepy. Not gonna lie, a little creepy. But whatever, you know, whoever was doing it, they're not doing it anymore. Unless zombies, you know, do like satanic rituals or something, I don't know. Maybe they do. Nice, I'll take that. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta wonder about those things too. You see them all over in this game. I'm just gonna leave it at that. All right, what do we have? Oh, nice, military vest, okay. And we got a choke, shotgun choke. 
Um, all right, first order of business is, is this sledge better than ours? It does a little, three more block damage, but otherwise it is inferior in pretty much every other way. And the one single mod that I have on my current one probably isn't going to make that much difference. So we're going to scrap this for the steel tool parts, which by the way, we can make steel tools. I'm just waiting to get my minor 69er up higher before we do that. Uh, the leather boots, we're going to scrap a doodle those. This is a really nice vest. Uh, it's three less light armor rating, but it's 4% more effect resistance and, and, you know, a lot better and all that stuff, too. The only problem with it, though, of course, is it only has one slot. Uh, we're scrapping this. So I guess the question is, uh, what are we wearing now? Chest armor with only one slot. So we're not really out anything. My Eventually, my plan is to, to go with mil a full set of military armor in the late game. Because we're going to, you know, I keep saying this, I know, but... We're planning on doing a stealthy stealth build uh, in the late game. So, you know, I guess I'm saying that for the benefit of anybody who might be watching me for the first time. Um, so I guess the question is, it probably would be advantageous to take this now. You know, even though we lose those three points, 4% uh, effect resistance is nice, plus all this other stuff is too. Um, so I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. So let's uh, leave that in there for the moment. And um, uh, need a couple of other spots to work here. And let's take this off. Modify. Modify. All right. How are we looking, man? Oh, we can't tell because <laughs> we got the leather duster on. Oh, I, I guess it just updated there. There we go. That's cool. Looks a little funky with the with the tank top, but that's okay. I wish the I wish the the coats didn't hide the chest armor like they like it does. Kind of sucks. All right, this uh, we're just gonna scrap a doodle now, and then we can get the rest of that stuff out of there. Okay, so we got a shotgun choke. Um, I don't know if I want to give up my duck bill though. The choke would be better. Well. Nah, we'll just hang on to it for now. We'll hang on to the choke for now. And then we got this one last um, chamois crate here. Okay, yeah, that's good stuff. What are we going to give up for the beer? Probably uh, one fat. Okay. Okay, I guess that's it for this POI. Oh, nope, nope, look at that. We got one more thing. Honey. Honey, honey, honey. We want that. Um, Let's give up the jars because we got lots of jars. Okay. All right, that was a fun POI. Unfortunately, we don't have a, a trader to give us quests for these, so we're not getting that part of it, but we will eventually find a trader. We're supposed to have one in the green biome, and then we can start doing actual quests and getting XP and money and all the good stuff and the prizes that the trader gives us. Okay, how's our time? We're, we're, we have a little bit of time left, so let's go. What we're going to do is... How do I get out of here? Uh, we came this way right yeah we came through that window but we got the damn collapsing floor can we get up here oh there we go <laughs> um what was i gonna say i can't remember now i can't remember what i was gonna say oh yeah let's go let's go do the the top of the football stadium i'm not gonna go in the inside uh but we'll go do the top we'll have to fight a bunch of businessmen zombie as zombies as i recall Mostly after the brass radiator there, the other stuff's not that big a deal. We could get we could get some uh Oh, what is it called? Ingots out of there, but let's not worry about it. I'm not even gonna put this stuff on the bike. We'll just take it back to the prison and drop it off in our drop chest. 
I need to do a little bit of an inspection on the outside of this too, because it's taken some damage from... Uh, I don't have any cement with me. Okay, yeah, I'll worry about that later. You know, from the from the screamers that call all the hordies in. Okay. We're good to go there. We'll just go up this way. All right, so um, let's get our hunting rifle out. We got a couple sleepers that we might be able to snipe from here. Is that a sleeper or is that trash? Can't tell. Oh, yeah, it was a sleeper. Pull those up. Oh shit, we forgot to cover this up. Can't go this way, Nurse Nancy, sorry. <laughs> She's trying to go back the other way. When, she, when I saw her go down those other stairs, I'm going, oops, I think I forgot something. Oh, look at that. Nailed her. Well, all right, so. Let's see, where is, yeah. okay, now, let's, uh, let's hit Hawaii 5 over right in the noggin here. Boom. Man, that son of a bitch is tough. Of course, I don't have any, any skill in, uh, rifles at this point. Not even one point in them. There we go. Off with his head. I probably can't rile anybody up from down here, can I? Well, even if we did, I, I wouldn't know. Okay. Just gonna come up here and check for any more sleepers in the bleachers. Oh, okay, I guess we're down now. Yeah, so this uh, this room usually has several businessmen in it. I don't think there's any football players up here, but there could be. Take both of those. Let's block this pathway. All right, wakey, wakey. Really? And you guys are some sound sleepers. Oh, 
Unbelievable. How did that not wake up the rest of them? <laughs> That's hilarious. I wonder, hey, can I can I squeeze my uh, junk dirt in there? Not. There we go. Oh, is it not loaded? <laughs> Can't take me anywhere, man. He was feral. All right. Wake up, dude. Oh, that damn light's in the way. All right, I guess that's it. Amazing how, how the rest of them stayed asleep through all that. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. Uh, amazing. Is there anything up here? Some jars. Oh shit! Didn't even see him there, obviously. All right. Hard parts done. Now let's loot. We've got a few safes up here and uh, some other good stuff. Just in case somebody wants to uh, surprise us. Let's put that there and we'll put one there too just to buy us a little more time. Alrighty, so let's get started with um the looting here you get more uh, material from these chairs if you wrench them as opposed to picking them up and scrapping them Okay, that's it for the scrapping. Uh, we have two lock picks here. So let's uh, see if our luck holds out. I'm not counting on it. We've had the crappiest luck with lock picks in this playthrough. All right, time to get the master key out. Are you serious? I did a freaking gasoline with me. It's all down in the bike. Son of a... Ugh. All right. We'll take that. We'll... Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. Okay. We might have to rethink our stance on using using clubs with a purple baseball bat. We're definitely hanging on to that. Well, I mean, I could run all the way back down to the bike to get gas to run all the way back up here, or we could just use this, I guess. Um, no. Yeah, I, I think I'm just going to use the pick. It probably would be faster to go get the gas and come back, but since we're up here and all that. Oh, yeah! Woo! Look at that! <laughs> oh, man. Nice, 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 nice. Huge improvement. And it's purple, too. That was worth the price of admission right there. Absolutely. Okay. Modify. Take that guy off and this guy off. Modify. Put you on. We'll put the black die on. And then we have three more slots uh, to add more stuff. And, and I'm, I might even have some melee mods back at the base. Oh, man. What a beautiful find, you guys. Love it. Absolutely love it. Let's repair it, too. Okay. So this sledge can now be scrapped for the parts. Thank you, Mr. Sludge, you served us well in your your time. Uh, let's drink that. Wow. Purple baseball bat and purple sludge. Super nice find. All right, guys. I'm going to... Um, 
Oh man, it's almost nighttime. Damn. Well, let's take our chances. I'm going to bang on all these safes. I'll get them all broken, and then I'll bring you back uh, to show you what's inside, and then we'll wrap up this episode. Hopefully we don't get attacked up here. Okay, we got company. Not sure where they're coming from. Oh, it's a cop. Let's get that reinforced. Uh, I also want to block this off. Nice. We one shot at a feral with our new purple sledge. Beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Somebody's hitting stuff down there. Um, all right, let me finish up this safe here. Okay. Let's see what we got. All right, we'll take those. Hunting knife. Not as good as our machete. I'd keep that if we had a place to sell it, but we don't. So, And we'll save these for later. Oh, did I repair that? <laughs> oh, I did. Uh, that is a, a nice little chunk of change. Maybe we'll hang on to that for the moment anyway. All right, let's see what this one has. Okay, more shoddy shells. Always glad to have those. And uh, structural brace mod. All right, we know where that's going. Uh, modify. And so that uh, increases durability. Nice. Uh, what it, it also increases, so in, right now we have uh, 80 melee and 138 power attack. Now it brought uh, the normal up by 5 and the power attack up by, by 5. Nice. Okay. Now, is this green pistol better than our blue pistol? Whoops. No, not likely, even with the mods on the blue pistol. It does have a little, little bit larger, um, another blue hunting knife, uh, magazine size. And this does have three mods on it, too, so, um, let me put a couple things in there for a second. I just want to check, because, you know, sometimes the lower level is, in fact, better than the upper level, the higher level. Okay, so let's take the mods off of here. Okay. So, so the blue pistol is seven points better. It does have two less magazine, which is kind of significant, but otherwise, uh, and just a tiny bit faster fire rate, but otherwise, yeah, I think the blue one's still ultimately better. That's not a bad pistol, though. Uh, but yeah, the blue one's ultimately better. Okay, we got some nice loot, man. This is the this was the granddaddy prize of them all, though. I'm so happy to have that. Ah, uh, cool, cool. All right, we need to get back to the base without getting et. So let's see if we can do that, and then we'll wrap up this episode. I think we'll have the AKs at the ready. They're both loaded. Is everything loaded? Okay, let's do this. Got to watch out for uh, for boss vultures, too. Because they are a thing. All right. I think those guys are far enough away to where we don't need to worry about them. 
So let's just move cool and quiet. Cool and quiet. Somebody's walking around down there. Nurse Nancy. All right, so we got an easy down there. Let's, uh, let's get this out. Oh, we got Nurse Nancy's attention. All right, let's kill her. Probably, probably for the best. Oh, off with your arm! Come on, stamina. She's feral too. Okay, I'm liking my new sledge, you guys. Uh, we definitely need to put more points into sexy T, which I'm planning on doing anyway. Um, so we have the stamina to use this bad boy. Kill the feral easy there. And we'll make a run for home. Which fortunately is just right over here. Okay, do we have anything in here we need to offload? No, I want to keep all that stuff in there for our travels. All right, guys, we made it home safe and sound. So I've got uh, a bunch of inventory management to do. And then I'll probably spend the rest of the night uh, mining underneath our base here. And then tomorrow, uh, we don't really have to do anything else on the Horde base. It's ready to go. So tomorrow will probably just be more of the same. We'll go loot one or two more POIs. And then we'll do Horde Night 28. After that, we'll go back out on the road and continue looking for the green biome and the mega city. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.